welcome everyone in this series i will be showing you how to create a coso charts which we have seen in the first video in the second video i have shown you how to create this coso dashboard as such so let's get started and create a new blank worksheet just by clicking this plus icon and now let's go back to our power pivot window under home tab within pivot table options drop down menu click on the four charts I will be creating these four blank charts in this sheet which I have just created. Let's leave few of the cells blank at the top and select cell number C14. We'll be using the top rows for inserting a slicers and a sheet label heading over here. So let's click OK, click OK. Four charts will get created over here. Now for creating these charts, we'll be using a distinct project count and distinct issues count which we have created in our second video using the calculated fields over here directly in the power pivot window over here here you can see that there are 39 different projects and 161 unique issues which have been raised in 2013 and 14 so let's go back to our excel file select any of the charts and right click show field list now let's put the report rating under axis label and from project list put the distinct project count under values now you can see that this different bars have been created now let's put the data label chart title already is there click on the data label okay now there is some little bit of formatting which we'll be doing up select this delete Select this minor grid lines as well and press delete. Select this axis, delete. Select this satisfactory and right click and then move satisfactory to beginning. So it is in the proper order as such. First satisfactory will come, second is net symptom and finally the not satisfactory. Now we will be giving a different colors for each one of them. Click on this bar and click one more time on satisfactory box so that only that particular bar is selected right click give it a green color then moving on to not set needs improvement give it a orange color and not satisfactory give it a red color okay now click on the chart title and one more click inside the chart title so that you can edit it project report issue done so let's increase font size as well okay done now we'll be creating four more charts as of now you can see only three charts but later on we will be adding one more chart as such now click on chart three now for this we'll be using issue rating under access then distinct issues under values now again you can see that it's not in proper order so let's select this select high and right click move high to end so that it is in proper order select this lesion delete select this and right click hide all buttons let's remove this minor grid lines as well just press the delete once you have selected that now again editing the chart title here issues raised by rating okay done now we'll be putting data labels over here as well okay now select low and click one more time so that low is only selected same way for this let's select for high red color and let us keep medium this particular color or a little light color okay it's not looking good let it be we will be giving this orange color only the same color which we are giving it for needs improvement so we are done with the second chart as well now let's create then another chart which will be for design effectiveness and issue ratings over here so i am putting issue rating as of now under lesion category so let us put distinct issues under values now you can see this is not again in proper order high is coming first probably we will have to go to design click on switch row and column 
have select this axis right click high move high to end and now again switch rows and columns let's right click let's remove this is the same stuff which i am removing doing it for all of them lesion will be at top data labels okay so now low is already in green color so probably we will give our consistent colors medium inch color and for high it will be red color increase the font size to 11 okay in the chart title now for chart title we'll be giving issues raised by design effectiveness or operating effectiveness done we have created this chart as well let's move this chart in same series over here keep it over here okay done now we'll be creating another chart for a coso components as such let's put coso component over here issue rating under legion then here we'll be giving a distinct issues under values so again similar way we'll have to change high to end okay let's move back let us give increase the height as such and width as well first of all do the same okay right click remove this let's remove the numbers over here data labels legend at top chart title issues by so component okay done so let's move it over here a little bit keep a different color for low rated for medium rated again a different color so that it looks consistent for high will be given over here done this is the third chart which we have created and probably one more chart we can create it's up to you how many charts you want to create i will go back and click one more chart over here i'm just showing it for your understanding purpose over here so let's click on this click ok done so let us create just for coso component without the issue ratings over here ok delete this delete the minor grid lines as well hide all buttons delete the axis issues by coso component component okay here probably will be just giving by rating as well okay let's keep data labels as well so that it looks good let's increase the font size for this let's increase the width as well let's keep them height as 2.5 and width as 6 same thing for this 2.5 and width at 6 okay now probably for this we'll be giving height of 2.5 and for this we'll be giving 3.5 looks good with this we haven't increased the font size so probably increase the font size so let us change the width and height for this chart as well height will be 2.5 and width will be 3.5 so it's also looking good let's move this another chart as well let's give it height of 2.5 width of 3.5 so it's looking good now let us align all of this chart together and hide 
the rows which we don't want it or columns also which we don't want okay home here as well going to just adding the columns and rows over here let's remove the grid lines and formula bar is also unselected okay so let us now align all these charts properly let's move it a little bit at the top so that it fits into a single screen okay let's close that so now let us select all this chart together and align them properly distribute horizontally align middle okay done same thing for these charts as well align middle done now let us insert the slicers over here as well select all of them control c and paste it over here okay we have pasted slices as well over here now we will be linking this right click to each of this chart with the report connection select all the charts over here for all the three slices right click report connections select all the charts okay right click report connections select all of them okay we are almost done now now let us insert sheet label over here okay give it a name coso charts such okay let us increase the font size and align it in middle okay it looks good now let us keep the cells the colors over here from our styles option ascend 3 so it looks good so now you can see that our charts are ready now if you click on any of this legal entity you can see that these charts are getting updated automatically you can play around with this so if i click on another one it will get updated now if i click on yba you can see that these charts are getting updated probably the color thing which we have given is not getting updated so probably we will just change it properly let's change this high to red color okay now under this low we want for low okay format okay uh, i'm wondering even though we had given correct colors but still it was not coming so probably We'll change it one more time over here as well I think it should be updating properly good those color are remaining constant even if we change the options on the slices so you can see that these are coming correctly for all of them so for YBA as a legal entity you can see that all the issues which are there are 10 issues there are 9 satisfactory 10 needs improvement and 9 not satisfactory issues over here uh, reports issued over here so the last point which i wanted to convey is like if there are any changes in the baseline data which we have used it how does this chart get updated or if there are any new projects being issued so probably you can just go and update the listing which we have used let's open that file now you can see that this file is open i will be just inserting one new row for a different project so let me keep details for this new particular project i will be keeping a not satisfactory only and 
you can see that as of now it is nine not satisfactory so probably once we update it will change to 10 let's keep this as id of 201 legal entity 2 only let it be name will be yba it will be oe only it will be high rated same i'm keeping the same details over here and click here open so now i will be just going back to this and under data i will be just clicking on refresh button over here so everything will get updated quickly it's updating you can see it over here so now it is got updated now let's go back to our power pivot and click on okay however still even if after clicking the refresh all button it is not updated the reason behind this is once you update this file issue listing you will have to press ctrl s save it and now if you go back and click refresh all it should get updated so let's keep our fingers crossed now you can see that not satisfactory has increased it has increased to 10 and even our other ratings have been increased automatically so now you can see that this way you can just update and click the refresh all button just remember that you will have to save your issue listing file before getting updates into this another file thank you let me know if you have any questions signing off abhay ka diya